What's up, Paul? Do you think Donald Trump is a compassionate person? Yeah, actually, I do. Okay, so tell me why. Uh, you can just go back to his history while he was in New York, where before his uh, political ambitions, everyone loved him because of what he did for the people of New York. Okay, I mean, so he put people up. When you say everybody loved him, that's kind of a uh, – let me ask you a question. Uh, let's talk about his days in New York before he became a politician. What about the thousands of lawsuits against them and how he had to pay out minorities for not allowing them to live in his complexes? Would you call that compassionate? Would you call it compassionate during the Central Park Five when he put out an ad in the paper wanting them to get the death penalty and when they were proven innocent since then, he hasn't apologized? Would you call those things compassionate? Because to me, compassionate... Yeah, of course. Wait, hold on. So it's compassionate to say that you want five minorities getting the electric chair and then when they're found innocent, not apologizing for what he did. That, that's compassionate? Yeah, of course it is. Let me let me go camp out on your front yard, and you want me out of there. Is that compassionate of you to let me sit, camp out in your front yard? What does that have to no, do with what want, I just you're said? You're going to want me gone. What are you talking you're, you're about? You're going to want me gone. What are, what is what is being on a private property? What is wrong with him? Oh my God, he's a you, Trumpite. Oh, uh, are you going to have a conversation, or are you just no, going to say, okay. "Is this a prank call?" Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, call. all right. So let's call. let me repeat that. Let me repeat no, that again. Be a serious, Brian. No, is it a prank phone Okay, so let's one person at a time. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. So, yeah. I just asked you a specific question, and it has nothing to do with what you just said, so I'm going to ask it again. When, no, I mean, I heard your question. Okay, so I answer it appropriately. I, I yeah, I mean, I'm, at, I'm going to answer it appropriately Please because do. I don't know of anything about the, these five people and all of that. Of course I don't you know don't. What How convenient. Well, guess what? I don't know anything about all these people that you say love them either. So, I guess we're even. Well... Well, I mean, there's let me okay, educate there's, there's you. Okay, so point, so let me so, so let me. There's a lot of people okay. that don't like you. So, oh, fair enough. So let let's have this conversation. There were five minorities. Yeah. They were teenagers. Okay, Correct. they were accused of a brutal murder and rape of a young woman. At that time, Donald Trump put out an ad in the newspaper saying they all deserve the death penalty. Since then. They were released, they were found not guilty, and they were wrongfully accused. Since then, Donald Trump has not apologized or said he was wrong. Why is it then when somebody like Ahmaud Aubrey gets lynched by a bunch of uh, white people, Donald Trump doesn't put an ad out in the newspaper saying he wants them to get the death penalty? Why is it minority, sir? Is that just a coincidence? Well, I mean, wh wh who does he help mainly? Who has he helped? If you go back historically, who has he helped? He hasn't, he hasn't helped white people. Let me chime he in. Helped, on, let me chime helped, in on this, Paul. Minority. Paul. Paul. Let me chime in on that yes. because you brought it up and you yes. said the. You brought, and I'll, let me dissect a little bit of what you said. You said that he okay. helped the people of New York before he was president of the United States. What the heck what? are you talking about? Before he was president of the United States, he was a TV star, right? He was a he was on a TV show, and so he was a celebrity. But yes, he had a business career in New York that benefited. What? The Trump organization, the Trump family. He was in he was in business. Time out. Let me finish. All right. He was in business for himself. All right. When you talk about people that people liked him. All right. Let me tell you something. I'm a Democrat. All right. I thought he was kind of funny okay, on TV. Oh, well, let me finish again. You don't need to jump in every time I, I'm, when, I, when I'm talking. All right. <laughs> when I watched him on TV, I thought he was kind of funny. He's kind of a funny TV guy. Right. I thought he was entertaining on television. I also am someone who is in my fifth decade, so I remember Donald Trump when he was in the when it was the when it was the eighties and the nineties, and Donald Trump was yes, he was kind of a pop icon because he was a symbol of success in New York City. Didn't really reflect the reality of his situation as far as him as a business person. He's not somebody that you hold up in the business community and say, "Oh, let's be like Donald Trump." That's not the case. But yes, he was a pop icon symbol of success. So. I don't know what you're talking about when you say he helped the people of New York and that he was somehow beneficial. Well, let's let Paul like, answer. It doesn't make any Go sense. Go ahead, Paul. Yeah. Go ahead, Paul. No, I mean, I, 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 what do you want to know? How okay. did he help people? Okay. So yeah. He's helped, he's yeah. helped numerous of people. I mean, there was, there was the lady that the big real estate agents were trying to get her out of her house. He put her up. There, okay. There's been movie stars that were that were down on their luck, didn't have money. He put them up. Okay, so he helps the movie he's, stars. He's okay. given out thousands. Of, All right, let me ask you a question, Paul. Dollars. The <laughs> argument is whether he's a compassionate person. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Day, yeah, that's the days, argument. Sure. So days after John McCain died uh, and had the funeral, uh, Donald Trump wasn't talking about the good man John McCain was. He was talking about how he wanted credit 
for John McCain's funeral. Is that a compassionate person? Yes or no? That's not what that I don't remember recalling. Of course you don't. Why wouldn't you remember that? Okay, why wouldn't you remember that? Let's take Paul at his word. Hold on. Paul doesn't seem to remember that. No, no, no. If you if you don't losing himself, he didn't want to be part of it. No, and he was asked not to go to the wrong. The McCain family. The McCain family didn't want him there, but that's not what my question was. He wanted credit for the funeral, and it's interesting you don't. Okay, let's move to something else. I'll, 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 I'll kind of uh, try to uh, entertain, entertain it. Yes. When yes. Colin Powell died, Donald Trump wasn't okay. talking about what a wonderful person Powell was. He was attacking his policies. Uh, is that somebody with compassion? Uh, considering that Colin Powell was basically kind of traitorous towards him. <laughs> So yeah, you're defending I, that. I would agree. I how would agree Colin, with that. How is Colin Powell traitorous? As a token, I didn't. I didn't agree with what he did. about I, I like. I had a lot of respect for Colin Powell. Okay. Well, I, this un- isn't about you. This is about Donald knowing, Trump. Here's the thing. I always tell everybody, right? Okay, yeah. It's not about Democrats and about Republicans, which is what modern media wants to do. It's not this bloodbath against each other because our founding fathers created both parties. So that America could be flexible. Okay, can I go with that? You're just making a general time. Hold on. No, Paul, you're let's go with that. statement Paul, right now that doesn't have anything to do with the conversation. Hold on. Paul, let's go with that. No, it does. Paul, no. let's, hold on. Paul, yes, sir. let's go with that. Yes, sir. You don't think people should attack each other and, and you shouldn't have a bloodbath, right? How many nicknames does Donald Trump have for Republicans and Democrats? How many times has Donald Trump attacked somebody on social media? How many times has Trump gone after women based on looks? As far as Mexicans, these people crossing the border, they're bad people. And I suppose some of them are good people. Uh, going after women, going after Ted Cruz's wife based on looks. If you don't want a bloodbath, then why would you support Donald Trump who attacks every single person that disagrees with him? You're contradicting yourself. Uh, I'm not contradicting myself. I, I look at the totality of everything. I mean, nobody. We're not you, talking, yes, you are. Not even, We're not, not talking about the totality no, of everything. No, You're I talking know. about Donald okay, Trump, bro. and you won't admit the fact that he is right. absolutely I divisive. Will. You won't let me talk, bro. You won't let me talk. <laughs> well, you keep changing <laughs> the subject. Okay. I'm not changing the subject. I'm, I'm sitting here saying everybody has fault. He's not a perfect man. Has he been a perfect man his whole 76 years, 74, whatever? However Nobody's saying he's, he's perfect. Is? Nobody's no. saying he's perfect. Okay. Nope. Why, Nobody's why, why are you bringing that up? You're trying to, well, you're trying to pull stuff back from 20, 30 years. Oh, yeah. Past, yeah. Crazy that, we would, crazy that we would. Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One person at a time. Paul, what yeah, you just said is. It's not Paul. 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 You're going to stop now. Paul, you just said something that is not factually accurate. I am not bringing up that? everything that is 20 or 30 years ago. Well, I am not bring- everything. Hold on. I brought up a number of things that he's done in the last four or five years as president. So what you're saying yes. is not factually accurate. Yes, the Central Park well, Five was many years ago. I am talking about the statements about saying, how about this? I won the election in a landslide. Joe Biden cheated. What about January 6th? Did that happen 30 years ago? No, that happened within the last five years. What do you think about that when he was sitting in his ass in his chair watching January 6th on TV for five hours, not willing to put out any type of video? What what do you make about him lying till today and saying that uh, he won the election in a landslide? Do you have a problem with that? Uh, No, I don't, because I actually I live in Georgia and I do believe. It, it was a farce here in Georgia. You well, believe you're wrong, that? Then. Where are you're you getting? Wrong. And where are you, you getting that? You're wrong. I'm and, not wrong. And where are you? Wrong. And where are you getting oh, well, you that? Are. Okay, so wrong. okay, so let's yeah. go with something called a fact. Yes. Um, that okay. was certified in the state of yeah. Georgia. Donald Trump had 62 chances in a courtroom to prove that that was uh, not a legitimate election. No proof of that. No evidence of widespread voter fraud. I guess if you believe the earth is flat, you're entitled to your opinions, but it doesn't make it right. Where is your direct evidence that Donald Trump won the 2020 election, sir? Hear it. Let's hear it. Now, WSB. I don't wanna... I'm sorry? WSB. WSB, look, go back and look at all it's the a TV station and all in, that. in Atlanta, right? WSB. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, right. so okay, so I asked you for direct evidence, yes. and your you only response a is a TV station. All right, listen, Paul. Well, I, I'm saying, well, you, you cut me off. I was telling you, WSB, uh-huh. go look at all their. Uh, no, I'm not going to look at it. Give me the evidence. TV. No, I'm not going to look at it. I want to hear it from you. What is the direct evidence that Donald oh. Trump won the 2020 election? Surely, if you come up you're with a claim have, like you're that, you're going to have to look at it for yourself. Because, because you have what no, I would say could, is hearsay. But what I what I would say would be hearsay, correct? 
So if you want direct evidence, no, you're what you're saying isn't hearsay. What you're saying is idiotic. I appreciate you calling in, Paul. Oh, okay. Donald Trump did not All win. Right, the, man, Donald Trump did not win the 2020 election, and you know he did. Uh, okay, he did. well, we, well you know we what? The, the, we you know what? Agree to the Earth to is flat. No, we're not going to agree to disagree. You're entitled to your own opinions, not your own facts, and you don't have any.